welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a work tough gear hemlock Aries prototype rendition, if you will. Guys, before we get started, because this is going to be a good one, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, that number has decreased, but anything above zero is unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. We back to blue over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Well, there's old Megatron in the background uh, doing what she does best. Listen, there she goes. Now, here's the deal, guys. We got a lot to cover, so let's go on and get into it. I use the uh, KHHI Power Hammer buoy as a size comparison. I just wanted to show you a couple things. Now, the hemlock, this is a prototype. This is important to know, guys. There's going to be a couple of things changed on the edge, but this is a prototype. I am fortunate, I am blessed, and I am appreciative to be a part of it. Now, the designer is Hunter Crutchin. You can find Hunter on Facebook or on Instagram under DB Hemlock, Hemlock Customs. Dude, does jam up on anything customizing knives, sheaths, etc. Check him out. This is his first design, I do believe. I may be wrong, but it, it's his first. Let me give you some quick specs. It's SK85. Nobody does SK85 better than Work Tough Gear. It's 5 16 thick. It's got a 9 and a quarter inch blade, 8 and a quarter inch cutting edge. The handle, this part is huge for me, is 6 and 5 8 inches that's the total handle length now g10 that 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 g10 that they do so so well with blue liners it has a ample choil it's got jimping on the back it's got a ramp on the back two things i absolutely love um skull crusher glass breaker type thing for the pommel now here's the deal guys i'm going to read just a quick synopsis of hunter's thought process I designed the Aries to be overbuilt. It is. I wanted to bridge the threshold between what we know for wilderness survival, camp knives, and your traditional axe and hatchet. Now, let me just say this. He's done that. This is an absolute freaking beast. There are two other videos on this. Eric Outer from Outer Limits and Wingman 115. Now, I've not watched either. I sped this part up. I put this clip actually on Facebook last night for Work Tough Gear Adventure Team. Guys, if you want to know what's going on with Work Tough Gear, go to Facebook, join Work Tough Gear Adventure Team. I put this snippet on last night. So right here, I just sped it up. First thing I want you to see is this. What you're going to notice, this isn't a zip tie cutting knife. This isn't a paper cutting knife. This is an absolute beast. Now, it's got a thicker secondary edge bevel. I believe when they do the production run, they're going to thin that out. Hunter, in the comments, kind of let me know what you're thinking there, what, what's going to happen. I'll tell you this, guys. I say this honestly. I've, all, I've said a thousand times I'm a novice at best. When it comes to choppers, they are in my wheelhouse. I love them. If I could do an entire channel on nothing but choppers, I would. Now, this, this is actually a hackberry, hackbush, some shit. It's a worthless tree stump, but the wood is very, very hard. And I say it's worthless because you can't build with it, can't burn with it, can't cook with it. But it's great for testing knives. Now, you, you'll see some lashing points. Look at that choil. That right there just screams to me. I love that. Guys, here's what you're going to see in this video. A whole lot of wrecking going on. One thing that I love about Work Tough Gear is quite simply this. I can pull it out of a box. I can beat the ever-loving shit out of it. I know the edge is going to hold up. I know it's going to perform. I know it's going to be comfortable. And I know that I'm safe with it. Now, here's the deal. I don't hold back on any knives. And I've, I've made this very, very clear. Work Tough Gear is the one company that does send me knives to check out. Now... This one, Hunter made sure that I got to test. And, dude, thank you so much. Home run, bro. I mean, for what your vision was, you hit it. Now, 
let me talk to you a little bit about the way I go in to a knife review. I've said a million times, these aren't tests. We don't do anything scientific. We bash and we crash. That's what we do. We don't abuse a knife. That's stupid. That's pointless. But we do bash a knife. Now, I want to see how much it'll hold up. I love choppers. Now, right here, right here, this is just, this was super, super comfortable to me. This is about the only feather sticking or whatever that you're going to see. Now, I mentioned Wingman 115 and Outer Limits, Eric from Outer Limits. They did videos. I haven't seen them. I'm going to list them in the description, and, and then I'm going to go watch them. Guys, when there's a new designer or, or a new knife, the way I approach it is this. I don't want to know anything about it, okay? I want to, to form my own conclusions. I want to see what it can do with my skill set, and I readily admit there are those with far better bushcraft skill sets. There are very few that hit harder than Old Scabber, but I know my limits. This knife is a little bit of an exception because I had a long phone conversation with Hunter. Uh, we've messaged back and forth several times. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Now, this was about an eight, eight and a half inch, nine inch diameter pine stump. You say, well, Scab, pine can be soft. Yes, it can. But there is a lot of lighter knot in here, a lot of knots in here. And guys, this knife, this knife and my baton process this entire stump. Now, the Hackberry stump was six, six and a half inches in diameter. Now, I do have a diameter tape. This one, I believe, is eight and a half or nine. The thing is this. The thing is this right here, guys. This knife process the whole stump. It also broke my damn baton. That's okay. Hunter can send me another one. Now, the reason I continue, look at that. No edge damage. None whatsoever. None. There was a little flake of something on the, on the edge, and I thought, oh, but it did, there's no chips, no dings, nothing. Now, look at that knot right there. I said earlier, and I meant it, Nobody does SK-85 as well as Work Tough Gear. Their heat treat's always spot on, edge alignment spot on, handle comfort spot on, everything just lines up. I love this knife. My goal for this video was to show you the absolute wrecking power of this knife. And one thing I would point out, as, as we chop or as we baton, look at that fat wood right there, son. I, I love the way it smells, if you can't tell. One thing I want y'all to understand right here, there's a lot of knives I'll go out and test, and I love, I love knives. I love all kind of knives. I really do. I spent more time probably on, I don't know that I've spent as much time on a knife as I have this one. Maybe the Preacher. Well, the Preacher probably. But this one was just a joy. I threw the piece of wood there into the house. That's always fun. But watch, just watch as it works, guys. I mean, it's literally like a hand axe. I'm excited to see the production run. I hope I'm on that short list to get one. If I'm not, I'm damn sure going to buy one. I'm going to tell you that right now. I love the way this thing swings. I love the handle. Now, listen, we did the Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test, the Donnie B all day drop test. This is a very, very balanced well-rounded knife. It is a big knife. It's a beast of a knife. It's a heavy knife, but it's very balanced. Now, D-Bad has crossed 8,000. He's headed to 10,000. Go over to, and subscribe to Donnie B all day. I tell you, it'd be great if old D-Bad would get hooked up with Vic Lynn and work tough gear. That'd be, that'd be, that's my dream thing there, but we'll talk about that in another video. Right here, guys, look, I, and I keep showing y'all because I want you to understand the amount of knots in this piece of pine, but look what we've whittled that thing down to. Absolute destruction right here. Just quick, quick pops. Now, we're going to do a little test here in a minute where I just kind of take and use my hand and just kind of, you know, as we're breaking down sticks, as we come up to them, now, here's some more chopping. I, guys, I'm telling y'all, I think I chop more in this video than I have any other video. But because it's just absolute, it's an absolute joy. Look at that handle. 
super comfortable. I think this is what I was talking about right here. Now, of course, I'll probably screw it up a time or two. It wouldn't be a Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors video if I didn't. There we go, Scab. Cut your hand. But right here, guys, watch. Just some hand pressure right there. The knife glides through it. Just super tough, super comfortable, super durable. You don't have to worry. This ain't a knife you're going to break. This ain't a knife you're going to hurt. You know, hurt. It, it is tough. It is durable. It, and to be honest with you, even though it's got a thicker secondary bevel, pretty damn sharp. It's come from two other guys, and the thing has held up super, super well. Now, a lot of times we'll do a lot of different tests, but in thinking about this knife, when as soon as I got it, here were the first words out of Megatron's mouth. First, she looked at it. She said, oh my God, that's you if you were a knife. Short, big, and terrifying. I said, well, thanks, honey. Love you, too. But that was her first words, and I was ecstatic. And as soon as I got this knife, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to chop. I've been saving that, that pine stump. I've been saving that hackberry stump, and I knew what I wanted to do because this knife really, Hunter made it for batoning. That's, that's what this is for, a camp axe, batoning, but you still have the properties of a knife you see right here, very easy to handle. You see we feather stick with it, very comfortable. It's got some lashing points if you want to hook it to a stick so you could chop a rhinoceros in half, I think, but super tough. Now, this is a pressure-treated board here from work. It, it's nasty, son. This is just, I want y'all to see, yep, nothing there, nothing wrong for all the naysayers. For anybody that would ever say, well, Scab, you take it easy and work tough gear because they let you. Yeah, kiss my ass. What part of easy have you seen in this video? I'm dead serious. This thing's when in pressure treated, I want to say four by four maybe. Um, pressure treated four by four, probably got some cure soak. I mean, this thing's old, but you can just see. Now, this knife gets now it wasn't designed to take super huge bites it was designed to have a very robust edge but i'm going to tell you something son we got some pretty good deep bites on this thing and to be this size honestly very very controllable now i've said it a million times i got busted up hands i, I can't say it anymore when you see, if I have slight deflection in the knife, a lot of times it's not the knife, it's my hands. But I'm gonna tell you something. This handle right here fit my hand, it's like it was made for my hands. And the knife's heavy enough, it's robust enough, it's big enough, it's badass enough that if it can't chop it all the way through, it'll just bust it, son, look at that. Straight through it, straight through it, and super, super comfortable. We had to go to the woods, you can't do a knife like this without being in the woods. So we went down, this was one of those trees, I think that was down from some of the meth crafters or something last time I was out there. And we're just gonna do some child aerial scan. I don't know what the hell I was doing there, but there ain't no telling. Now, the thing I want y'all to understand about right this little demonstration right here is I'm actually holding the log, okay? I had tried to prop it on the stump. Every time I hit it, it fell off. So some, you'll see some aggravation build up here in a minute. We're going to put the lanyard on for that very reason. Safety first, Gab. There we go. Now, we're about to get down with the get down here in a second, son. Right here, you just see it just gets great bites, great penetration. I want y'all to see the final cut on this. It'll get through there in one second. Just a beast of a knife. And again, beautifully made well-crafted, it's work tough gear. I, I'm just a fan, man. They do their heat treat well. When I can go out there and just free swing, I never take it easy on a knife. Please understand that, please know that. It doesn't matter who sends it, whether it's KHHI, who I have complete trust in, or work tough gear, whoever. But there's a lot of knife companies, guys, I'm gonna take a practice swing or two, not with work tough gear. When it comes out of the box, I'm swinging. I have that much confidence in it. Let me say this, and I'm going to step away from this video for one second. Hunter, Hemlock, DB, brother, great job. I, I, I don't see how anybody could disagree that this is a badass chopper. If you're a big knife lover, it's got to go in your collection. Like I said, we're not a QVC channel, but I'm going to tell you right now, 
This right here, if you love big knives, it's in your wheelhouse. Yeah, I've got about 30 seconds left. I'm going to end it this way. The thing that I love about this knife community is we're all different. We're not the same. We're different. Different goals, different beliefs, different colors, different sex, different religion. The thing that makes this knife community great is when we respect each other. I don't do politics, I don't do religion, and I'm not going to. But I'm going to ask you this, guys. Respect each other, please. It's what makes us break and unbeatable. I'm Scab, you're not, and I'm gone.